Talk to me. Sir, Cassie Counts is here to see you. Send her in. Have a seat, please. I reviewed your application today for you to be my co-host on the Gales Wrap. Now I just have a few questions for you. Am I wrong? Am I thinking that we could be something for real? Stacy, can I come over after school? Um, I'm Cassidy, and no. No, don't leave. You can be on my show. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Good morning, LHS. Today is Friday, September 5th. I'm Andrew Witt. This is my new co-host, Cassidy Counts. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. LHS is full of wonderful teachers, staff, students, and administrators. Do you know we have three dean of students? Well, one of those deans is new to the building, but not new to the district. Let's meet our new dean of students, Mr. Spires. Hi, um, I'm Mr. Spires, uh, Dean of Students here at Lancaster High School. Uh, I'm a Lancaster High School graduate. I uh, went to Ohio University uh, where I wrestled and got an early childhood education degree down there. Um, I got my master's degree at Ashland University in administration and I taught for seven years at to the elementary level at Talmadge and South Elementary and now I'm out here at the high school. How the first few days been here at Lancaster High School have been wonderful. Uh, the staff, uh, our administrative team have, have been wonderful in inviting me in. Uh, the students have been great. It's been great to uh, walk the halls and just meet everybody for the first time. And everybody's really embraced me coming in. Have been really um, helpful towards me. And I can tell that this is a strong team out here and a great place to be. If you are interested in running for class officer, please pick up a form in Ms. Spire's room, room 219. Forms are due back by September 12th. Save your money because before school and during your lunch periods today, you can buy a water bottle for a dollar to donate to the Timmis family who is battling ALS. When you buy a water bottle, you get to nominate a staff member or administrator to do the ice bucket challenge after school. Donate your money and save a life. Ever wonder if any of the classes here at LHS give you real world experience? Well, LHS career tech student Danny Rohn got more than that from Systems Tech. My name is uh, Daniel Ronan. I go by Danny. I'll be a senior and I'm in the uh, Systems Tech program at uh, Lancaster High School. Matt Claypool from Claypool Electric came in and he was talking to us and he's like, I want you guys to file an application. I want you to come work for me. So uh, if we were interested, he brought us in an application, he reviewed them, and I went in for my interview, and I got hired, along with uh, one other guy from System Tech Program. It's so much different because we're getting, you know, we're actually out here learning like what we're going to have to do professionally later in life. It's like, there's only so much you can do in a shop, you know, there's only so much you can learn from a book. But actually getting out here and doing it like firsthand, it's crazy. You know, I'm I'm a high school kid and a lot of a lot of high school kids just don't have an opportunity like I do. And I really think that our career tech programs, you know, get kids that ability to come out here and professionally work and you know, I mean out of high school it's crazy. It's like a full circle, you know. It's like I went to the old elementaries for years 
and then now I'm giving back by being able to help the next generation build new schools. Now here's a chance to meet the new band director. My name is uh, Mr. Ben Factor. I'm the director of bands here at Lancaster High School. I also help out at the junior highs. Went to The Ohio State University uh, in Columbus and I had a degree in music education. I, I taught for the last seven years at Liberty Union schools up in Baltimore, Ohio and uh, just recently took the job here at Lancaster. That was a great opportunity. Uh, the, the band program down here at Lancaster had a great reputation and um, wanted to have the opportunity to work with more students and have an impact on more students' lives. Trombone is my main instrument, uh, but throughout college as a music education student I had to learn all the instruments, but I still play trombone a decent amount. I'm just glad to be here at Lancaster. It's been a great place so far. I'm really looking forward to a fantastic year and uh, great things in the future. Miss Black would like to ask all the senior girls who borrowed her personal books last year to return them immediately. Seriously, how long does it take to read a book? I mean, I'm not going to have her start naming names on here, Bethany. The rest of you are next. Come on. Good morning, Lancaster High School. Mr. Gradehouse here. This is your official welcome to Lancaster High School. I know we're a few weeks in, and I want to thank all of you who have been very, very patient with us. You know, a school our size taking on the one-to-one -one initiative with iPads always sometimes is a test, especially in the beginning. Well, many of you certainly have passed that test, and we appreciate all of you uh, being patient. Our tech staff is working extremely hard to try to get everything, all the kinks, worked out. And remember, it's still early, and you're going to be fine, so just keep working through it. I want to thank our staff, too, for all the great work you've done to make sure we get off to a great start. It has been a very, very good start here at Lancaster High School. We have a lot of things to look forward to. We have a lot of assessments coming up. Yes, sophomores. Again, I'm not going to talk about the OGT, although I just did. But I will say, freshmen, you're in the same boat. You have your new assessments. Everyone, AP classes, we have a lot of uh, challenges in front of us. And it takes all of you each and every day working on your assignments, making sure that you get your work done. If you don't understand something, there's not a better teaching staff and support staff in the state of Ohio. You have to ask for help. That's important. And when all else fails, yes, you can try to see your school counselor. They'll do their best. But you have to do your best. And as I told you at the beginning of the year, hang around positive people. Think positive thoughts. Life is too short to be negative. Have a great day and a great weekend. And as always, go Gales. There's a varsity L meeting at 715 next Thursday in Mrs. Marvin's room. The Lady Gales volleyball team is now 9-0 and ranked 8th in the state. This week they beat Gahanna in four sets on Tuesday. The football team beat Logan last week in double overtime. They traveled to Lakota East this weekend. Lady Gales tennis team beat Groveport 5-0 and Taze Valley 5-0. They moved 7-3 and on the season. Luck to the football team tonight. Get that W. And also don't forget about the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge today after school. Stay classy, I like you. And have a good day. But mostly stay classy. But have a good day. No, seriously, stay classy. No, have a good day. No, we're staying classy. They need to have a good day. They're going to stay classy. Have a good day.